Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got the Zvezda's 172nd scale. This is the JU88A4, an absolutely fantastic kit. And I've never built a JU88 in any scale whatsoever. Perhaps I want to do a start in 72nd and work our way around. Anyway, nice little bit of box art on for this one. As you can see, used in the anti-shipping roll here. It's got some of the kill markings actually on the tailor. Nice picture on the front. 12 quid, let's hope it's a bargain. Okay, so, down on round on the box, we've got the colour call lights for this one. Uh, kit number for this is 7282. And then round on here, we've got some of the other bits and pieces that they do, as always, and down in here. And it is sealed, well, there's, there's the zone tag, but at least it's not one of the open-ended ones, which I have to fight to try and get it out of the box. Okay, it's gonna sit, it is. Okay, so. In the box, ooh, do you like a surprise? Clear parts, that's cool, okay. Usual bump sheet, one bag with the screws all in there, no problem. We've got the decals, we'll look at in a moment. And as always, we'll start with the instructions. Okay, so usual ways Vesta does the big pull out sheets on these ones, so uh, options really just simply saying about gear up or down on this particular one and then obviously we've got the usual things with these with actual parts but then moving down actually into the uh, the build itself so usual thing we've got the crew obviously uh, forward and rear facing in this particular one some of the areas lots of holes to open up so having a good look around making sure you've got all of those so you've got all three crew uh, down on for the actual top area and then going through so it's talking down in here about you know various things you're closing up and doing so you know that's basically the JU88 it's been used for so many different versions this particular variant so there will be holes and various things you need to adjust and take care of wing sections things like that on this one so there's a central wing section with outer wing plates onto that one and then obviously with the bombay being all covered up underneath and then obviously working our way into the gear so you're working with your sort of engine nacelle area with the gear and all the rest of it being put on there and then the engines going down on the front exhausts they've been fitted onto it like that and then we've got the props front of the engine various things and then obviously working with that sort of gondola system underneath with the clear parts down in there being fitted on and then bringing all three together so obviously central fuselage and obviously the wings coming on and then the nose being fitted into it then it is off to the gondola system so you've got crew who's actually lying down uh, in actual into the gondola manning the guns for the rear defense okay we've actually got the weapon station so you've got the bomb bays obviously being fitted or bomb stations i should say being fitted depending if you're going to be going in flight or geared down depending on which one you want to do that one. Talking about the guns, uh, sorry, the bombs, and obviously the guns and everything being fitted into the clear parts at the top area as well. Okay, and there we go, shows them on there. So we've got these sort of dive brakes on this one and the weapon system being fitted down onto the actual uh, bomb racks underneath those inner wing pylons. Clear parts all being put onto the actual top and all those areas fitted onto it. Then it is into your marking. So various ones down in here, as we can see, for different versions. Okay, quite nice. I actually do like it with anti-shipping up markings on the tail. Very nice one right the way down. And we've got the skull and crossbones as well. Or we've got the wiggly worm camo as well, depending if you want to go Sicily for spring 1943 on this one. Most of them are 1943 around that one. So obviously this one up here showing the 16 um, uh, kill markings on British vessels on this top one right the way through. Again, I can't believe I haven't built a JU88 in all or everything I've built, so I haven't done one. I'm gonna to have to take care of that soon. Okay, decals, as you can see, there's this normal way. They've broken down the SWAT sticker, obviously, just to get around the problem of, um, well, lots of problems. I'm not gonna go into the details of that one. Okay, so there we go, everything else looking nice. Again, the decals, they are just that sort of satin finish. They're not gloss, uh, but they're certainly not flat, yeah, but good, solid color right over them as you can see down on those we've got a little bit of instrumentation one just down in here as well okay so i'm intrigued to see what's in here so this is actually says clear parts so really nice touch that the clear parts are protected although they're not bagged they're just running around a box but hopefully they're not going to scuff up for the clear parts as we can see all on this and actually again when you're into 70 second this is beautifully done no problem at all it's got good raised details on it as well so if you wanted to obviously for cutting around masking and stuff like that that's actually nice and easy to do because it's just in there all of the framework is actually quite sharply 
done. So it'd be quite easy to sort of get up there with your knife, cut in to do the framework and things like that. It is going to be a little bit small and a challenge. I'm not going to kid you on that particular scale, but it is doable. Okay, so that's all those sections just down in there. And again, clarity wise, can't fault it. Actually, that's not too bad at all. Considering the, the complexity of the shapes and things like that, I don't think they're too bad whatsoever. Okay, we'll pop them back in their little box. Okay, nice little touch with that. Okay, so we've got one big bag, polythene type bag. Okay, so if we start with the large one first. So down in here, obviously, we've got the fuselage, we've got the wings, and again, it's quite a, a chinky, hard plastic. It's not a soft plastic. And again, this is where, you know, we'll probably the easiest way to let you see it. You can see the actual panel line detailing, good, crisp, beautifully in scale, no problem at all. As you can see, it's what Zvezda do, do very, very well. We've got the gear running down there on the side. Again, good detail on that gear. And then we've got those sort of nacelle areas. Again, good detail on all of those, working our way on the tops of the wings. You can see, very, very nicely done. Both sides, bottoms, tail wheel sort of section all done in one which is quite nicely molded very three-dimensional looking okay underside with those engine to cell areas things like that looking very good no weight on wheels unfortunately but we've got the gear there tail planes again looking very very nice indeed got covers for the engines and the other fuselage again this here looks like a little sink mark but when you're talking into the scale don't think it's really noticeable you put that down as stress skin okay no problems with that at all on the inside obviously there's no real detail to any of this because we're not going to see any of it but good contact points no problems with any of those that actually looks pretty good all of that no problems at all very nice okay so next up Again, really nice up the detail on these kits. I know I shouldn't be surprised, but it always does catch me by surprise. Again, very, very nice. When you look on the close-up, you can see the details that actually go in these. We run up and down each side, but we obviously we've got the Bombay floor, we've got the pilot's heads here, or some of them facing this way, some of the others. We've got instrument panels where you've got the exhaust, we've got the bomb racks there, we've got the Bombay central type area, or what would be Bombay, I should say. Okay, tail planes, and then on the other side, working our way up, we've got the backs of those bombs. We've actually got the gondola uh, gunner, sort of rear facing gunner. The pilot's bodies, as you can see, up along here, that sort of dive break. And then again, upper uh, mid turret area would be, but obviously it's been blanked out in this particular version. And those weapon bays, very nice indeed. Okay, next up, we've got the props. Again, good, solid, no real flash on them, no sink marks, nothing like that at all. We've got the guns, as you can see. So we've got the guns down there and these engine cell type bits, no real detail, but you have got the, the veining opened on those as well. The bottoms, we've got the tail, which is actually a one piece tail. Again, nice details right the way through. Spinner caps, looking very, very nice. And some of the other parts and that twin uh, gun for the actual gondola type pilot underneath crew, crew I should say very nice indeed again it's nice Vesda do a really really nice job on these smaller scales don't get me wrong they do great stuff for bigger scales but the 70 second scale they've seemed to got that panel line right okay right the way through and that's the nice thing with it it's not overdone it's not too heavy and it's not too shallow that you're not going to see it either so by the time it's got a little bit of weathering with it and a wash so forth and so on it should stand out there quite nicely but again another beautiful kit by Zvezda so there we go that's the Zvezda JU88A4